Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dark Arm Duels, so Integrity doing some Gate Guardian test hands. So, without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on there so you can come part notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like in your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So, without further ado, Let's get straight on into this. So this deck is an amazing deck that can establish some insane boss monsters on your side of the field. And the best part about your Gate Guardian Fusion monsters is you don't even have to use Polymerization to summon them to your side of the field, which is crazy powerful. This deck is insanely consistent, and I absolutely love playing Gate Guardian, especially now that we have Dark Guardian, which is such a powerful boss monster that helps you not only get a really powerful card on your side of the field, but also recycles your resources as well which is amazing this deck is super fun to be able to play so if you guys would like to check out the deck profile as always for every test hand video it is down in the description down below but you guys know it's dad rule number one that we got to pile shuffle the deck or you run the risk of breaking so we had to pile shuffle up the deck and make sure that as you guys are playing that you pile shuffle your deck just to make sure that you don't brick because any deck can brick so let's go ahead and shuffle up the deck and see what we can do for our first test hand. This deck is super fun and just really, really cool. So let's go ahead and see what we draw. So we're gonna draw into a copy of Elemental Hero Prisma, Fusion Deployment, Dark Element, Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth, and Illusion of Chaos. So as you're playing this deck, I don't want you to look at these cards as basically just random cards in your hand. I want you to look at them as gate guardian pieces that you can establish. So with this particular hand, we have four pieces. And the reason I say that is because this can get us to a copy of a, a Magician Souls, which in turn is going to get us to a Cosigem. This can get us to our field spell, which is going to put a piece in our back row. This summons literally any piece from the deck by revealing gate guardian combined. And this turns into any piece as well. So we can basically just establish anything that we need on our side of the field which is crazy so that's very important as you're playing this deck to not look at your cards as basically just a bunch of random cards look at them as gate guardian pieces to be able to summon out your different cards so something also important to keep note of while you're playing this is gate guardian combined can be summoned any time you have Gate Guardian pieces in your hand, field, or graveyard, you can just banish them to summon out Gate Guardian combined. But the two segment fusions do require you to have them on the field to be able to fusion summon into them or contact fuse. So what we're going to do right off the bat, that's just some upkeep stuff, is we're going to reveal our copy of Illusion of Chaos in our hand to be able to grab a copy. See, there's Cosigen right there. We're going to go ahead and grab a copy of our Magician Souls. So what we're going to do now is put our copy of Illusion of Chaos on top of the deck use our copy of magician souls to be able to get our first gate guardian piece in the grave which is going to be Kazajin. Kazajin is what you always send off your copy of magician souls to be able to get exactly what you need so we want to go ahead and establish a copy of shadow ghoul the labyrinth as well which is going to get us a copy of labyrinth wall shadow so we can activate our field spell which is not a once per turn this card is not once per turn so if you have multiple copies in your hand it's multiple gate guardian pieces and now we're going to go ahead and put a copy of sangha of the thunder on our side of the field which is going to help us out a lot we can then go ahead and normal summon out the prisma which this card actually is like two gate guardian pieces in one because it gets you um exactly what you would want on your side of the field which is just insane so we're going to normal summon out a copy of our elemental hero prisma and then we're going to use the fusion deployment in our hand as well to be able to turn another gate guardian piece onto our side of the field to be able to get a copy of Kazajin on our side of the field which is just really good because now we can actually go ahead and use these two together to be able to make our copy of the wind and thunder now it's really important to make wind and thunder first because it's going to get you a search because we have the copy of magician souls we can go ahead and use this card's ability to search out the double attack wind and thunder and that's actually going to banish these cards to be able to summon that card out so now we have a copy of Kazajin and we do have a copy of a um basically we have not used the prisma yet but we also have this in our hand so we can send these two to the graveyard with our copy of magician souls to be able to get exactly what we need so we're going to use this to be able to send a copy of Suijin. usually i end up turning the copy of prisma into a Suijin, which is something that's important to keep note of as you're playing the deck is i do usually turn this card into a Suijin. so what we're going to do is go ahead and turn it into Suijin. 
And now, once it's a Suogen, we can use our copy of Magician Souls to be able to send both of these to the graveyard to be able to get a draw two. So once we get a draw two off this card's ability, we do have the copy of the Double Attack Wind and Thunder to be able to get our third and final piece so we can summon out Gate Guardian Command. We are locked into Fusion Summoning, but that's totally fine because we did use the Fusion Deployment, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw two, and we're going to draw into a copy of Ash Blossom and a copy of our pre-prep. And now at this point, remember this is Suijin. We're going to go ahead and banish this to be able to grab one of our Gate Guardian pieces that are banished. And we're going to grab our copy of our Sangha. Because this is Suijin, we have our copy of our Kazuchin in the graveyard. And we have this on the field. We can banish our copy of Prisma off the field. Our copy of Kazuchin from the graveyard. And our copy of Sangha in the hand. And we summon out our Gate Guardian combined. So now we have Gate Guardian combined. We have our copy of Dark Element. We have our pre-prep, which is going to go get us a copy of Illusion for follow-up next turn and we have a copy of our wind and thunder we have dark element as well which is just really good in our hand because now with dark element we can recycle our pieces that we have gate guardian in the graveyard we can pay half our light points to special summon a level 11 gate guardian monster for our hand or graveyard ignoring its summoning conditions which is going to get us dark guardian so if our opponent deals with these on the field we just summon out dark guardian and we basically win because it's so hard for your opponent to deal with that card so when our opponent goes for their turn they we have a thrice per turn negate for targeting this is a search which is really just basically to get that one extra piece so we can summon out this and get us another boss monster on the field you can even summon this in defense if you wanted to summon it in defense just to give you like more defensive capabilities but i usually just summon gate guardian combined attacks it's already 3750 so it's huge but we also have the ash so we have a negate in our hand we have this that's negating targeting and then when our opponent passes back to us if they do destroy, let's say, this on the field, it'll actually summon back one of our Gate Guardian pieces, which I usually summon back the copy of the Kazajim. And now we have a Gate Guardian piece in the graveyard. So now we're going to go ahead and draw. We're going to draw an Infinite Impermanence. And I'm going to activate Illusion, reveal it in our hand. And we're going to go ahead and grab a copy of our Magician Souls. I believe we've already established, they're putting that back on top, I believe we've already established both Kazajins. We have Kazajin on the field. I believe we have our other Kazajin as banished. Yes, we have Kazajin banished. So we're going to use this in our ham. Special summon it to our side of the field. Send the, thing, the copy of the Illusion of Chaos to the graveyard. And now we're going to pay half our life points using the copy of Dark Element. And since we have a Gate Guardian in the graveyard, Gate Guardian Monster, which is our Gate Guardian of Thunder and Wind, we're going to go ahead and special summon a copy of Dark Guardian. Now, Dark Guardian is crazy powerful. This card cannot be normal summon or set. It must be special summon Dark Element or by special summoning this card from your hand or grave by shuffling all three of your Gate Guardian pieces back into your deck, which is just really cool from hand, face up grave, field, and or banished. Basically just establishing it from anywhere. So once you get it on the field, this card is really, really sticky for your opponent to deal with. And this card also has some insane abilities that while it's on your field, it cannot be destroyed by battle, and if it's summoned with Dark Element, it's unaffected by monster effects, and your opponent's activated spells. So they can only deal with this thing with traps, which is just really insane, or making something that's larger than it. So we also have these two on our side of the field, so we can go ahead and link these two away if we want to, to make something on our side of the field, if you guys want to make something. We also have cards in the graveyard, just to show you guys really quickly. We also have this that we can actually recover a gate guardian piece and we have not normal summoned yet which i know is really weird to think about but we can normal summon so what you can do with this particular field is you can actually banish this card but you can only use each effect of this card once per turn you can banish it to be able to add one of your gate guardian pieces back that's banished so we're going to actually add back our copy of our sangha to our hand or the copy of kazajin if you want to add back kazajin to your hand but you can basically just get back one of your pieces again and then we have some really cool plays that you can establish. So what you're going to do is going to go ahead and link these two away and summon out a copy of like Cross Sheep. You can summon out Cross Sheep if you want to make a copy of Link Karibo first with one of the pieces. And then you're going to go ahead and link this way because you have to use different names. Summon out the Cross Sheep. And then now we have a Sangha in the hand. We're going to make it over here actually. We have a Sangha in the hand. We have a Sujin in the grave. And we have a Kazujin on the field. So you can basically use all of these to be able to make a second Gate Guardian combine. And then your copy of Cross Sheep can go off because you did summon. And once we do that, we can just bring out the copy of the Magician Souls to our side of the field because it was a monster that was Fusion. Uh, fusion Monster was special summoned to the card this card points to. So we get to be able to summon out a copy of a monster from the grave, which is going to be Magician Souls. Link these two away. 
And once we link these away, we just make Selene and we can count how many we have in the graveyard. So now we actually have exactly three spells. So this card is going to get three counters. We can then remove the three counters off the copy of Selene, summon back the Magician Souls to her side of the field, or you can do a funny and summon back the copy of Kazajin. Well, we don't have Kazajin in the grave. We banished it for the Gate Guardian combined. And now we're going to go ahead and link these two away and we can summon out access code. So now we have access code. We have our copy of our Double Gate Guardian combined, and we have a Dark Earth and a Selene in the grave, which is going to give us light. So we, this is actually going to target the Selene to go up to 53. And then we have three banishes to be able to pop because we have three different elements in the grave to be able to banish off our copy of access code. So you have established this insane field. Plus you have the imperm. So you have that too. So that's just insane to be able to establish this much with Gate Guardian. That's why I play the deck so much. And you guys probably have seen me play it on stream on Master Duel. And I can't wait to get Dark Guardian in Master Duel, but it's just insane to be able to establish these really cool boards. So let's go ahead and see what we can do for the next one. If you guys have not checked out one of the live streams, I play Gate Guardian a lot on stream on Master Duel because it's just such a good deck and it's so fun to be able to play. And if you guys have not checked that out, definitely check out one of the streams. They're super fun to be able to like watch and they're really, really cool because I like interact with the community a lot when I do live stream Master Duel. So we're going to go ahead and shuffle it up and see what we can do for our next one and see if we can establish something crazy again. But this deck is so, so fun to play and I absolutely love playing Gate Guardian because it's just so cool to be able to establish these insane boards and be able to just summon out all sorts of cards. But keep in, keep in mind as you're playing this deck that it's also easy to OTK your opponent like that because you can your your big boss monster is 3750. So we're going to draw into Ryoku Guardian. This is another card I was actually about to mention. This card also is great for OTKing for this deck. So we have a Kajin, we have a Shadow Ghoul. See right here, I see three pieces. I see a piece here. This is going to get another one of these. This is already another piece right here. So we have three pieces here already to get our copy of Gate Guardian combined. And then a copy of Magician Souls, which is a fourth piece, technically. So what we're going to do with this hand is really wild. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and establish the Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth. I love that they retrain Shadow Ghoul. Shadow Ghoul is such a cool card. Such a cool old school card. And we're going to add a copy of our, um, our, copy of our Labyrinth Wall Shadow. So we're going to activate Labyrinth Wall Shadow. And we're going to use its ability to place on our side of the field a copy of... We can do Sangha or we can do Suijin. It depends on if you want the Spell or Trap Negate or if you want the Monster Negate. Or not the Monster Negate, the uh, Gate Guardian Combine. Um, it's totally up to you guys which one you want to go for. We have two. So we can just send a copy of Kazujin here if we want to send the Kazujin here. So we're going to go ahead and put... Let's put put Sujin. I'm going to show you guys about the other piece or the spell trap negate. So what we're going to do is now we're going to use the magician souls ability and we're going to send from our deck to the graveyard a copy of illusion of chaos this time. We're not going to send the copy of Kazujin because we want to establish that copy of Kazujin on the field. So we're going to send the illusion of chaos and then now we can actually activate another copy of labyrinth wall shadow on our side of the field and once we establish that copy of Labyrinth Wall Shadow, we can use its ability, place the other copy of our Kajijin on our side of the field, which is really cool. And then now we can actually use both of these to be able to step into our copy of our Spell Trap Negate, which is a, what a lot of players that are playing Gate Guardian actually do, because this is a double negate. And then now we also have the Magician Souls, which is going to let us send both of these to the graveyard if we want to. You can establish these and just keep them in your hand because this is an OTK piece and this is going to do a lot of stuff. But if you did send these to the graveyard, this is what you would draw. So let me just show you guys really quickly what you would actually draw. These would be banished as well. Uh, we don't have another piece here, so we can just draw two. And if we draw two, we're going to establish into a Heavy Labyrinth Tank and Dark Element, which this can normal summon and get us another piece. And then we can basically just keep going if we want to keep going. And this will get us a third piece to be able to get exactly what we need. So let's go ahead and show you guys exactly what would happen if we do that. Because you can just pass here, but I'm going to show you guys if you keep pushing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and draw into those two. And then we're going to go ahead and normal summon the uh, Heavy Labyrinth Tank. Since we don't control, or since uh, we have a normal summon this turn, this was special summon, we can establish the Heavy Labyrinth Tank. Keep in mind, we have Kajijin in the hand. So we need to be able to establish a copy of Sangha because we have the Sujin Banish. So we're going to put the copy of our Sangha on the field because of the Heavy Labyrinth Tank. Banish the Ryoku Guardian. And then we're going to add back our copy of our Suijin. 
Now, this is where it gets really interesting because we have not locked ourselves into anything. We have not locked ourselves into fusion summoning or anything at all. So we're going to go ahead and link these two away. And you can go in for the cross sheep. Cross sheep is a really good option here because it's going to get you another monster on your side of the field. And it's really good because it's going to have, help establish something on your side of the field. So what we can do now is we do have the ability to banish all three of these to be able to summon out our copy of Gate Guardian combined. And once that Gate Guardian combined touches the field, we have the ability of the cross sheep to be able to bring back something to our side of the field, which we're just going to bring back the magician souls to the field. And we also have the dark element as well that we can establish if you want to, because this is going to be follow up for later. So now we can also, if you want to, you can link these two away and go into IP. The reason I did it this way is because you can do it this way to give you the go ahead with the cross sheep in the graveyard, or you can leave the copy of the cross sheep on the field, which I wouldn't recommend, um, to be able to like establish a copy of Link Rebo on the field with this. But I feel like this is the better field because now you can do the double negate here, link these away, makes this live, make SP, and then you also have the gate guardian combined as well. So once you basically eat two spells and traps, you just use these two together and make um, SP, eat another card off the field. So that's three. This is going to give you targeting protection. And then you make SP and then it just gives you the dark element. Then you OTK. So you have all that too. So let's go ahead and go into the next test hand and see what we can do for our next test hand. Because as you guys can see, this deck is super fun. I absolutely love this deck. It's so fun to be able to establish. It feels like, like this deck is so cool because it feels like no other deck because... You're basically just trying to focus on getting three pieces, which is just wild to me. Like, it's so cool because it it just is so fun. Like, I love being able to just look at the, the hands and be like, okay, there's one, two, three pieces, and there we go. We can, we can establish this field, and it's really good. And it's insane that you have a thrice-per-turn targeting negation as well. And again, if you guys would like to check out the deck profile, it is down in the description down below. You guys should definitely check that out because it's really, really good. So, we're going to go ahead and shuffle it up and see what we can do. So for the next test hand, we're going to draw into a Magician Souls, a Hero Lives, Sangha, Double Attack, and a Fusion Deployment. Again, this is four pieces. Uh, technically, it's three pieces, but technically it's four because Prisma's two. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to lock ourselves into Fusion Summoning. We're also going to go a Hero Lives first. A Hero Lives first is very important. We're going to take half life points, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take half life points. And we're going to establish an Elemental Hero Prisma on our side of the field. Also something a lot of players do, I will tell you guys this as we go to, but a lot of players, Prisma, um, actually we're going to use the Fusion Deployment now, and we're going to reveal Gate Guardian Combined. You always have to reveal the Gate Guardian Combined for this, so keep that in mind. I haven't been doing it, but keep in mind you reveal the Gate Guardian Combined to be able to activate Fusion Deployment. But a lot of players say you just need like, Two Kazajin, one Sujin, one Sangha, not to get too deep into that, but I don't mind opening a piece because it just means I already have the piece. So keep that in mind as you're playing this deck too. So we're going to use the fusion deployment and we're going to summon out Sangha. Um, Sangha will instantly just get you places with this deck, which is super cool. Um, we have a Sangha in the hand already, but that's fine. Now we're going to use Prisma and we're going to get Sujin. So this is now Suogen. And then we also have the Magician Souls. We can actually turn that into a Kazogen if we want to. Uh, let's turn it into Kazogen instead of Suogen. This is going to be a Kazogen. This is Kazogen. So this is now Kazogen. And then we're going to go ahead and special summon out our copy of Magician Souls by sending another Kazogen. So now we have two. And then we're going to use the Magician Souls ability to be able to get rid of another piece because we're going to use it with Double Attack, Wind, and Thunder. And that's going to give us a draw, which is the pre-prep. Then we're going to banish this from the grave, which is going to let us add one from deck to hand, um, which is so good to be able to add from deck to hand. So we're going to grab the Suogen now. So we're going to go ahead and get the Suogen. And we're going to banish one... Actually, we can go any further. We're going to go ahead and use these two together, which is Kajjin and Sangha. We're going to banish these. And we're going to summon our Thunder and Wind. Thunder and Wind is going to get us 
our Dark Element, because this card gets us any card that mentions Gate Guardian, which is so good. I love that about this card, that it just adds any card that mentions this Spell or Trap that gets us a uh, Gate Guardian piece, which is just amazing. So you can grab the Pop. I'll probably grab the Pop here. Um, and then if it makes it to the next turn, we can grab Ryoku. If you're going second, grab this because we've already paid half life. So we can make something like, we can make a Gate Guardian combine that's like 7,700 and something attack point. 7,750, which is just really good. And then we also have these. So we can just put all of these in and make Gate Guardian combine. So we basically establish the same field again. Like it's so consistent to get this that it's just ridiculous. And then we have pre-prep as well to be able to grab the magician uh illusion magician so we're gonna grab that and then we also have this to set to our side of the field so we have a pop we can't link away unfortunately but we do have a pop we have a card in the graveyard we have all of this banished so we can just get to our copy of dark element so if our opponent deals with this field um they deal with this we just summon out the spell trap negate we have the pop here this can banish get us another piece back so we can make another gate guardian combine if we want to later um and just as insane like we just have all these plays so we're going to draw for next turn we have prisma this can turn into suogen this can grab us back sangha we can just keep going like it's just, like you just snowballs like it's insane we have and we we got both of our sangas banished so we can actually just grab back sangha turn it into a suogen because we still have the suogen in the deck so this is can turn into suogen because we still have the one suogen left i knew we had one piece left so it's suogen this is why i play six in the deck is we play two of each because you draw into something like this and you just normal it and let's say that this went off during the opponent's turn. This is the follow-up turn. We normal it. That pops something. We turn this into a suogen right here by sending the suogen. And then we're going to go ahead and use the double attack to recover a Sangha. And we can actually link climb here as well. Use the copy of the Gate Guardian Combine. Gate Guardian Combine is going to grab Dark Element because we can establish more plays. This is already spent now, so we don't need it, and we need to get Guardian Peace in the Grave. Make the Cross Sheep. We have not locked ourselves in on this turn. We're gonna go ahead and use these together to make Gate Guardian Combined again. This is gonna go off, bring back the one Magician Souls in the Grave, and hey, guess what? Convenient, I have three spells. It's like I do this all the time. We're gonna go ahead and link these away and we're going to summon out the Selene. We already saw we have three spells in the grave. We have the three right there. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this. Bring back the Magician Souls again. Establish the access code again. Which we could have established the Link Karibo first. So let's do that. Let's do that first. We're going to go ahead and make the Link Karibo. So we have another one to pop. Just to show you guys you can do that. Now we're going to link these away. Make this. And now we have this, and we have a triple pop off the access code to be able to pop three. We have Dark Element, which is going to be able to special summon Dark Guardian directly from the deck. And we establish this to OTK. So you have this, all of this, and the Illusion of Chaos to reveal if you want to get a, another uh, Magician Souls. So we can put this back. So you establish this field, which is a triple pop with the access code. To be able to banish all of these you have the dark guardian on the field you have dark element in the graveyard to recover a piece if you want to recover a piece you have the elemental hero prisma you have double gate guardian combine and you have the copy of the the uh, magician souls if you want to kind of sort of keep going because you can technically make an sp because you can use this get rid of this and then link these two away and then you just make sp right here or you could have saved the Link Rebo and made the Link Rebo here, and then this would have got another Banish. So you, if you want to do that, you can establish the SP later. Um, because you just keep the Link Rebo in the grave, make this, link it away for the Link Rebo, and then make SP. And then it gives you a Banish, so you have a Triple Banish, or a Quadruple Banish. With the access code popping three, this is going to Banish something, and then you have all this too. So you get all the, this field. Like, it's insane. This, this deck is insane. It's so fun to play. So, I think that's going to do it for this one, guys. This deck is crazy. If you guys have never played Gate Guardian before, you definitely should give the deck a try. It's not even crazy expensive either with this build besides the SP, which you can change out for something else if you want to, as I talk about in the deck profile. But... 
Like, it's not even a crazy expensive deck, which is really, really nice. But it's so fun to play that you can just establish these insane boards. And keep in mind, as you're playing this deck, like I told you guys, playing six pieces, I think, is the correct answer. Because if you play the six pieces, you're always going to have access to a piece. You don't mind, like, opening one because you get these insane fields. But it's just so fun to be able to play. So, that's going to do with this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell in there so you can come part of the notification squad. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.